Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. In the wee hours of Sunday morning, there was a little girl sleeping on a couch in her own home. Her name was Ayanna Jones. Police apparently threw a flash grenade through the window of her home while they were looking for a murder suspect. It was the wrong home, and during their entry into that home, they shot and killed her. She bled to death and was carried outside in front of her grandmother, in front of other family members. We're left with a lot of questions, including why was the raid executed the way it was? Were these Fallujah-type tactics necessary? Are they ever necessary? Uh, what happens when a little black girl is killed and the media reaction at first is muted? How do you get more light than heat? Well, one of the solutions, I think, is to try to create relational content. That sounds so boring, but what I'm really talking about is using tools like Wikipedia to gather facts and make sure that people know what's going on. Some people are ignoring this case. Other people are incredibly angry. I just want the facts to come out as this investigation proceeds. Now, Kim Worthy, who is the Wayne County prosecutor, has decided to pass this over to state officials in order to try to shed more light than heat. I think that this case is going to be a very complicated one. Uh, Reverend Al Sharpton is now involved in trying to speak on behalf of the family in addition to their lawyers. And what I'd like us to do is collectively get together and use the tools that we have, including tools of collaborative content gathering, so that we know the facts as we proceed. Ayanna Jones deserves our attention, and I think that each of us in this digital world can help create the content, create the movement, create the sensibility that her life mattered, and so do the lives of other little girls who are not white, not rich, not famous, um, just in the line of fire.